Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today it's Lego time. Who knows how long it'll be until I get to the second episode, but this is the first. So here we have Minecraft Legos, or should I say Lego Minecraft, in the order it's written on the box. This was a gift from a sweetheart because I'm a nerd and she knows I like Legos and Minecraft. Yay. I am, a, I am just a big kid inside. I am an adult and I deserve an adult glass. But, uh, I love, I love my Minecraft Legos. So these are, these are Leggies. Leggios. We have, we have Wolf. And it's, it's, it's looking on from a distance. It's like, oh, I'm not, see all that fray? I'm not going into any of that. That looks dangerous. We have, uh, explosion, a TNT explosion. And there goes some dirt and stone, which I love that they added in the little Minecraft effect of the explosion, the little half crescent moon. They're not half moons, they're crescent moons, yeah. Little crescent moon shapes on the side. It's so cute. <laughs> I love this. And over there, there are the berry bushes. Uh, a, well, not recent addition. Recent in terms of the entirety of Minecraft's lifespan, but uh, they were introduced during the Fox update. Look, there's a little fox. Oh, it's so cute. They made a very special head for it uh, as, as a little specialty piece, just like the wolf. And the rest of it is made with little uh, little other Minecraft bricks. You can move the tail up and down. This is so cute, and it's so small. The wolf is a little bit bigger, but the tail goes up and down too, which we can see when I flip this over. There's a little mushroom. I, I love that I can recognize these as Legos. It's just, it's so cool. <laughs> There's a little berry bush to feed the little fox. And, of course, you can take the, um, which you call it, the berries off in case you wanted an unburied berry bush. Uh, one that's still growing, which I love that. That's so cute. We have Steve in only gold pants, but he got the Steve shirt. Steve shirt, very important, because it is the Steve shirt. And a golden sword. And you've got a bow in your hand. The feet look a little bit weird, but it's also really cool that there's little feet, they have toes. Amazingly, Legos grow toes when they die, but they don't have toes when they're alive. It's strange, isn't it? But I love this, they're, they're battling each other, just like, I'm gonna get ya. But then again, Skeleton, you can shoot an arrow, so you could probably do it from a distance, unless he's running up towards you. And over here, that little fire can just work as a little campfire. Um, where something to light the TNT, so it can be on its own, or, as the back of the box will suggest, you can put it on the skeleton so it looks like it's burning in the daylight. Look at that. He's just like, oh dear, I'm in a predicament, aren't I? Gee willikers. <laughs> I love this. And then there's the, there's the tiny fox with tiny little nubbies' his feet. Oh, is this, this fox is so small. And then there's the tail on the dog, which you can use as its health, which I think is really cool. I love it. Oh, I love it. And there's Steve plucking one of the berries off to eat it. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, if you don't want to detach the red part, you can just pluck the things off and then just have the little green spots. And they have the little, um, what do you call it, those little chunks on the bottom there to make each square like its own thing. But Minecraft was already like Legos to begin with, so it works out super well. Oh, that was weird. There's another hand. Aha, take that. I have longer nails. That's actually how I burst through this. I was like, aha, nail power. Um, and then I realized, wait, I should do this on the video. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Now, there's a Minecraft block here, and then another Minecraft block, and then they have this gray area. It's, it's a little bit weird if you're trying to figure out where everything lies spatially, because there's a Minecraft texture in the back, and then there's a little Minecraft cloud. But this gray space exists in another space and time, with Steve and everyone else kind of popping off to the side. I love, I love the effort that goes into making the backs of these Lego boxes. Because they, they, could, they could just show the toy, and then that's it. But they go to the extra effort to have it slightly in action, and to have a nice little background around it. It's, it's great! I love it. And here you can see you push down on that, and then it launches whatever blocks you have uh, connected over there. Which is so cool. I love that. 
It's a little TNT space. A lot of creative stuff you could do with uh, with these Minecraft Legos. I imagine this would be really good if you wanted to make like a stop motion thing, because there's a lot of uh, possibilities. But I just I just love that it's Minecrafty in general. Now this is a very small one, so there's there's only so much you could do with this, but this is a really good supplement to a bigger Minecraft uh, set. Like if you have one of those big boxes of Minecraft stuff, this is a really nice addition. So it makes a pretty good Christmas gift. Uh, and one of the other cool things is that Minecraft Legos are one of the few things where if you get duplicates, like if um, these are really safe gifts to give someone, because if somebody already has one, I mean, they could they could um, still return it if you have a gift receipt if they want something different. But one of the whole things about Minecraft is that you have duplicate objects in a world, uh, so that this way you have more stuff. So if you if you buy this, you'll get another wolf, you'll get another fox, you can have two foxes, you can have another skeleton, and uh, more weapons if you wanted. If you get another one of these, you could dual wield two swords, two golden swords with one Steve. The, the other Steve is maybe if there's another kid who wants to play and they also want to play as Steve. Uh, so it could work. Uh, you could, it could definitely still work. The only, the only annoying thing is that if you buy multiple packages of these, you will get a lot of Steve's. <laughs> You'll get you'll get a number of Steve's heads, but hey, it's um, more Steve's are better than none. And I guess you could, if you end up acquiring too many Steve's, <laughs> you could sell a Steve individually online because there would be people who would want more Steve's individually. I guess, or maybe if you don't want to buy Minecraft Legos, but you have a bunch of Legos and you want to pretend they're Minecraft anyway but you don't have a Steve, then you can buy an individual Steve if somebody sells it. So there's a lot of good possibilities by buying multiple ones of these. Like, if you buy the set of something else that somebody already has, you may not necessarily want, like, two pizza vendors, because you already have a pizza vendor. But with Minecraft, hey, you have TNT? Well, you never put down just one TNT in Minecraft. Think of all the other possibilities you could have when you have multiple ones. So it's a really safe bet in case... Any, any older folks out there know some kids that you want to gift a thing to, and it's like, oh, they have Legos, they like Lego Minecraft, but I don't know what to do. Getting these smaller packages are a very safe bet, in case you're worried about getting a duplicate, like if you don't know too much else about other stuff. Also, the bottom is brown, like a Minecraft grass block. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And then over here... Actual size, super tiny nubby fox. And you can also see that the sky is blue over here for the Minecraft logo. And there's a tiny little block here. Overlaps over here for the little hexagon logo. And there's some other Minecraft uh, squares that don't connect anything else over here. So you can see a little tiny block on the side where the fox is. And there's another fox, and there's another fox, and another fox, and another fox. There are five foxes on this boxes. <laughs> fox on the box. Five fox on the box. Look at all them foxes scattering around, enjoying life, being foxes. Yeah. And then over here on the side... Look at all the little Minecraft blocks. They have they have a whole bunch of them, but it's hard to tell where they are spatially because this block floats above the darker grass behind here, which is supposed to be the Taiga. Taiga. That's what this set is. The Taiga Adventures. So it kind of floats above those, and then this fox, which is just here, because they wanted to add a fox to the bottom of the box to to not just have empty space, I guess, which is why they have that overlapping. These two are not on the same layer as the background of the thingy. This fox and the wolf are standing on the blocks over here. So they're within the universe. And then these Minecraft bricks are on top of the Minecraft block. And then in the background, I, I don't know if both of these are supposed to be at nighttime or just the snow in the background is supposed to be nighttime snow. And that's a different set of snow. So there's like one, two, three, four layers of things existing. Uh, 
It's nice though. It looks nice. <laughs> this is what I do. This is this is part of the box reviews. I overanalyze the boxes. I'm actually gonna split this up into two videos. Um, one is the Lego time where I play with the Legos, and the other one will be the one where I review the box because that's what I do. I go into overly long analysis of boxes. Look, it's a tree. Trees were used to make this paper. Yay. Will be do. I want a Minecraft 2. 2020 Mojang. 2020 Mojang. It's the Mojang. And this was made in 2020. But ha! It's the future. It's no longer 2020 anymore. So, it's from... It, it's, it's the past. Take that box. You're out of date. Get with the times. Yo, bro... Hip, hip, and hoppity with the times. I am the hip man. Dog. <laughs> I'm gonna make this in another video. Look forward to the other video. Watch that after this if you're still interested. I hope you're still interested. <laughs> so thank you, friends. But I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington, signing off. Bye! Not many people take the time to appreciate these boxes. So uh, appreciate the boxes. Appreciate their magic because they, they, a lot of work goes into the graphic design of these. They're really cool. I like, I like looking at the boxes. It's the boxes and the foxes.